Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. I want to thank Bank Hometown for helping make the show happen. Here in our second segment, we're very pleased to welcome Dr. Tatiana Hamawi, who is uh, the uh, owner of Alpha Omega Direct Primary Care. Doctor, welcome. Welcome, Tim. Thank you for having me on your show. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, if you could maybe just tell us a little bit about uh, about yourself and, and what uh, Alpha Omega Direct Primary Care does. Uh, I am an internal medicine and pediatric board certified physician. I have been in private practice in Worcester since 2002, so over 20 years. And over the past year, I decided that it was better for me to remove the insurance company from the doctor-patient relationship and try to restore that relationship mm -hmm. so that patients can have control over their own health care and we can have more time with them. So uh, you just mentioned that the, the, you're trained as a doctor in primary could you say that again? So um, Those are two, I, what you said are two very in demand yeah, uh, so I am primary care. primary care. A lot of people don't know what internal medicine is, right. but that is pretty much the general doctor for your adult population, and pediatrics is for the pediatric population. Right, right, for the young, younger, younger kids. Right, yeah. so I take care of all ages. Right, and so that uh, having that background and that training is very much in demand because it's been reported there are shortages in those areas, as you alluded to, that... Um, sometimes you know some of the surveys and things that you read and see out there sometimes people don't have the the best experiences at times with all the challenges that the healthcare system has been facing uh, over the years and, and, and COVID has just exacerbated that so you're looking to kind of deliver it a little bit differently or maybe deliver it the way it was in the past yes we're trying to deliver it the way it was in the past because right now uh, we have lost control over what we can do for our patients. We have to get permission from the insurance and we can't give the patient what they want. We can't give them the time that they need. We are spending a lot of our time doing bureaucratic work required by the insurance companies and the patients lose out and it's not a good way of delivering health care. So in order to take it back, we kick out the insurance company. and. Even though there is a small membership to pay as a, uh, to be a member, in the long run, the patient actually saves money because they, we can take care of almost 80% of what they usually end up spending on their deductible. And um, they don't have to worry about surprise billing. Um, they don't have to go and wait in an urgent care. They don't have to wait four or five weeks for an appointment. They get an appointment the same day or next day. And so they are actually getting health care for what they purchase as opposed to getting a health care card that says they have insurance, but they don't get any health care until after they've paid their full deductible. Right. So that's the concept behind a direct primary care. So you touched on, you know, uh, how, how they pay for it. You said, so is this something that uh, you're focused on getting the word out to kind of individuals and families? Is it to businesses? How, how, how do you, or if someone's interested in, hey, look, I like that idea, I want to learn more, uh, how, how can they partner with you? So we want to attract uh, patients directly. We also can help businesses to provide a product to their employees, a benefit to the mm -hmm. employees. So any business that is 50 or smaller, we could take on and help show them how they can provide a product in their benefit package to their uh, to their employees, where they can get good quality health care, um, so both individuals and businesses. Okay, and so that's something that they would come and sit with with you and or your team to kind of negotiate or have an agreement agreement on. Yes, they can actually go straight to my website, which is at www.aomedical.com, and on there is a calendar. They can schedule a meeting with me to ask questions to see how does this benefit them, how does it benefit them as an individual, how does it benefit the business person, and um, and we can move from there. Right. Have you had any situations where people do engage with you in, in, in direct primary care but also continue to maintain insurance, or is it... Uh... Oh, they have to maintain, they have to maintain insurance um, because you need insurance for events that happen that are unexpected. Right, okay. If you know you go to the hospital and you need to be hospitalized, you need insurance for that. If you 
you know, need surgery, you need insurance for that. It's kind of like your house insurance. You want insurance for something you hope will never happen. Right. Um, it, but you don't want to pay, excuse the pun, an arm and a leg for it. Um, you want to pay as little as possible for something you hope will never happen, but you have to have it there. Um, so we don't advise that people don't have insurance. Gotcha. Okay, they should have some sort of insurance. But I can teach them how to do that much more um, cost effectively. Cost effectively. And so, and so then they'd have their insurance for a, that catastrophic event or something, you know, that re requires, as you mentioned, hospitalization. But this would be for that kind of direct primary care that is really important um, but can be costly as well. Yes, and the other thing to note is that the way the system is designed now, patients are not encouraged to be in touch with their doctors because if they do, they'll have a payment that they're going right. to pay and they try to avoid the doctor because of that. So with my plan, they're encouraged to stay in touch with me. They have a access to me through a cell phone 24-7 and they're encouraged to get advice before they get sick rather than to try to stick it out and go to the doctor after they've become too sick and right. too ill. So right. our current system doesn't encourage you to stay healthy. It encourages you only to seek help when you're sick. Right, right. Uh, and so in terms of, you know, as you develop the business and people have come to you, is there word of mouth or referrals? How do you kind of uh, get the word out there? Yes, word of mouth is great if you can, uh, if you know people who, uh, if anyone knows people who are not happy with their current provider, can't get an appointment with their current provider, um, don't feel like their provider is listening, um, then spread the word and um, send them to the website, www.aomedical.com. Um, I've been using the chamber. They've been very helpful at That's spreading great. the word. And um, getting on the radio, too. Yeah. 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 Our chamber radio show. Yes. Again, we love it when our businesses, particularly our small businesses, are able to utilize uh, th those. And, and so speaking of that, I mean, um, your doctor, as you mentioned, uh, specialize in a couple areas. Uh, do this yourself. Are there other uh, uh, providers that you work with? or, or uh So in my office, I am the only doctor. I do have some partners in the community that we refer to okay. for nutrition, for mental health, mm -hmm. for um, things like um, yoga that will help with mm -hmm. pain relief, and uh, a pharmacist as well. So we do have some collaborations. Oh, good, good. And so you had mentioned the, the website aomedical.com, and you're located uh, uh, we're right here near, in Worcester. Yeah, we're right near Elm Park at 111 Elm Street. So easy to, to find at a central location in the city and in central Mass. Yeah, very yeah. easy. Very easy to get And Doctor, to. how long have you been 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 uh, embarked on this new endeavor? The new endeavor is only since March, so March. we're brand new in this in this uh, in this new way forward. Yeah, and you know, people talk about uh, you know, the healthcare is changing so rapidly, and uh, you know, where people aren't sure where things are going. So this is a bit of a disruptor, but, uh, but one that embraces kind of that past where that doctor-patient relationship was, was robust and, and regular. Yes, I, I, I wouldn't say that I invented it. It's been around in the country since about 2010, in Massachusetts since 2015, and in Worcester maybe two or three years. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown, unlock your potential.